Brian here with Help Sell My RV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this 2017 Forest River Wildwood Heritage Glen 299RE Triple Slide Travel Trailer. Go ahead and get started on the inside, and then I'll finish up by showing you the outside. Overall length, exterior length is 35 feet, 1 inch. Exterior height to the dual AC units is 11 feet. And the unloaded vehicle weight is exactly sticker here 7,365 pounds usually you can find the weight sticker usually on the inside door frame and that is the unloaded vehicle weight when it came off the assembly line give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started this is a one owner coach the owner I know him very well lives in Jeffersonville and uh, the only reason why they're selling this is uh, their priorities have changed alright give you an idea of the floor plan there okay this is a triple slide first slide out is going to be definitely a super slide it's going to be at least uh, 12 foot long and 3 foot deep accommodates the freestanding table and chairs show off the fabrics here and the colors nice storage up underneath the seats uh, the colors are going to be uh, tans, little blues, little cream colors, and maybe some gold. Uh, all the fabrics on the inside of the coach pretty much are in excellent condition. Okay, also in the slide out, the super slide, is going to be the jackknife sleeper sofa. This is the ultra leather or leatherette finish. Again, excellent condition. Show off those colors there. Those are all the colors that are blended into the, uh, the freestanding chairs and it's an idea of the stitching back up there you have night shades all throughout show off the window treatments well I've got good lighting right here rod iron window treatments which is nice okay this is the rear entertainment center and uh, I'm not sure what size flat screen that is. It's a Jensen flat screen. Show that off right there. Uh, that may be a 30 inch flat screen. And you do have the fireplace. Uh, about, about a 5000 BTU heating source in the fireplace. And you do have that nice rock finish. More residential feel. And again your window treatments. That wrought iron finish. Your stereo here is going to be uh, it's a, by Furion. It's the Bluetooth, uh, USB ready, it's a smart device ready. You can uh, DVD, CD, all the good stuff. And you do have 110 outlets on each side of the entertainment center, which is definitely nice. Okay, it's going to be your second slide out. Also in the living room area, it's going to, it's going to be about uh, maybe seven foot long and again three foot deep accommodates the theater seating recliner chair option and I do believe that was an option uh, the ultra leather finish that's matching the jackknife sleeper sofa again excellent condition nice cup holders nice storage up underneath the elbow rest there for your remote controls speaking of remote control this coach is equipped with the full remote control package I'll show you hopefully I won't forget uh, okay, your flooring here is going to be that beautiful uh, plank flooring, residential vinyl floor, residential grade vinyl flooring, and uh, definitely nice in your high traffic area. So this coach is easy to clean. Okay, walking into the kitchen area. Show off those cabinets. Uh, I'm not sure what they're calling the cabinets. Uh, maybe a maple finish? Show that off there. And you do have uh, it's that brush nickel hardware. It's going to be all your pantry space, lots of pantry space. And we're down there. Okay, it's going to be the stainless steel finish on your oven, which looks like it's never been used. The owners have only used this from what the owner told me uh, about five times. And three burner gas cooktop. Front one's going to be usually a high output, nice glass 
uh, range cover on this so you have more counter space which is nice and stainless steel finish on your hood vent and stainless steel finish on your microwave this coach is 50 amp service we are hooked up to 50 amp and everything's working microwaves digital readouts always show that they're working nice uh, glass finish on the fronts here with a little etched glass etching in the glass pretty nice and lots of counter space this is solid surface Corian style countertops not a wrap or Formica top this is gonna be your farmer's sink I love these sinks stainless steel it's mounted up underneath just like you find in your homes nice mowing style pull-out sprayer faucet which is definitely nice and you have to turn on that accent lighting up underneath let's uh, back up a little bit kind of show that off there now oh, 110 outlet right there yeah, I almost forgot that accent lighting can't do that okay coming around still in the kitchen you do have the residential style fridge and uh, it's going to be by Whirlpool, show off that Whirlpool badge right there. And I believe it's going to be a 2000 watt inverter to power the fridge when you're driving down the road. Huge fridge. Forgot to check and see how many, how big it is, how many cubic foot. Definitely probably the largest one you're going to find in the Heritage Glen line for travel trailers. It's going to be your thermostat control for your heat and your dual ACs. Uh, you do have a 15,000 BTU AC unit. Right there, full ducted all the way through. This is the large AC unit with quick dump feature. Open up these louvers, it does a quick dump. Once it cools off, you shut them off. You've got ducted AC all throughout. And the owners did upgrade to, a, I believe, a 13,500 BTU in the bedroom. Okay, speed up this video a little bit. Show off that walkthrough bath into the master bedroom. And you do have a nice foot flush toilet. Glass enclosed shower, not just a curtain. Skylight, and it also has a little bit of seating there if you wanted that option, and you got it. Nice vanity area and a medicine uh, cabinet, not just a mirror. I do want to point out all your lights inside and out are LED, to save you on your battery. Okay, again, this is pass through bathroom into the master. Uh, bedroom queen bed the bed mattress is showing uh, signs of wear uh, the mattresses that they put in these campers are not the best so if you were to buy this I would definitely suggest upgrading to a little bit better mattress closets on each side of the bed and you got more closets here this is going to be your third slide out so lots of storage space and this is going to be your uh, second AC unit Definitely more than, more than enough AC to cool off a 35 foot travel trailer. And I do check around all corners I'm thinking of it and pointing at it in the closets and uh, you know, all four corners. I do check for water damage, did not find any issues. And just check for wrinkling in the wallboard. Uh, and usually it's a sign that's probably leaked, but did not find any issues. This is pretty cool. Laundry hamper. Forest River does on the Heritage Glen line. And I do want to point out also, I'm one handed, but this bed, let's go ahead. You have storage up underneath the bed with gas assist, assist strut. And, and the owners did install the mount for a second TV. This coach comes with one TV. And let's take one last look at that pass through bath. And here's the side all hallway. Great floor plan. Uh, this is going to be your slide out button. We're in here. And walking into the side all hallway here. This is going to be your monitor control panel. Uh, our central command tells you where you are on your battery. Battery is fully charged. Freshwater tank, which I believe is a 54 gallon freshwater tank, it's empty. Black tank or your toilet tank, it's empty. That's going to be 30 gallon, and your gray tank uh, is going to be 30 gallon. So you got looks like two gray tanks. Uh, so probably two 15 gallon uh, gray tanks, but uh, combined you do have 30 
gallons on your gray and it's going to be your lights it's probably awning light i just turned on uh living room light there uh water heater six gallon direct uh, six gallon direct spark ignition water heater whether you're boondocking or you hooked up to shore power you are ready to go within 15 minutes with hot water power awning switch right here and your slide out button switch right here and here's going to be another slide out button switch so one of these are for probably the super slide and the other one's probably going to be for the small uh, smaller slide with the uh, home theater seating and this is going to be your remote control that I was talking about remote control uh, you can pretty much uh, your power stabilizer jacks front and rear uh, and they're calling it landing gear it looks like in your front power jacks uh, and your awning uh, your uh, bedroom slide out your main slide out which is your super slide and your I guess opposing slide out and uh, uh, room slide so it operates all your slides your power awning and so does all the good stuff and here's a button to turn on all your lights right there definitely neat and give you one last look before we go outside condition 1 through 10 10 being the best as, uh, as far as condition I uh, definitely would rate this a 9 it's going to be dirty on the outside but I think any dealer would agree with me on condition uh, and the only reason why I say 9 uh, is because of that mattress really and the fact that it's dirty see awnings dirty uh, the owners have not really had a chance to wash it and it's back up here kind of show you what it looks like from the front patio side 18 foot power awning with LED lights you do have the power hitch jack which I'll show you power uh, uh, front and rear stabilizer jacks sorry the owners have this in a kind of tight spot so I don't have the best uh, advantage of getting a good side shot but uh, let's see if I can show see that that's a high gloss finish on the outside fiberglass finish uh, full aluminum uh, frame side walls and flooring and I'm talking about the aluminum framing you can actually see it in this huge pass through storage see there's all your aluminum framing that's what you want not that wood frame stuff uh, wood framing is not bad but this is better and that's what keeps it light uh, I do want to show off that beautiful front molded painted gel coat fiberglass cap easy to clean more aerodynamic there's your Forest River Heritage Glen light badge right there uh, you do have uh, probably a light switch inside the storage compartment area. Two uh, LED lights to accent your your cap there at night. There's going to be your power hitch jack. Probably two 30-pound LP tanks underneath here, the large ones, and a nice uh, cover. And you do have, uh, this might have two batteries. Wow, it does. I didn't know that. Dual batteries. Usually you only have one. I do also want to point out, you know, these going to be your buttons for your front power stabilizer jacks there's their satellite hookup if you want to or I'm sorry solar charger hookup right there if you want that option you've got it fully enclosed heated underbelly look at that blue accent lighting for at night that's the switch that I kicked on inside so this lights up at night and nice blue lighting coming out from underneath heritage Glen light badge again all the decals are in excellent condition uh, mount for your TV here Furnace exhaust here, 110 outlet here, cable hook up here if you want to hook up a cable. And you do have exterior speakers with the LED light accent on the speakers, which is real cool. Tinted windows, which is probably going to be an 80% tint. That's going to be your six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. These are going to be your uh, 15 inch aluminum alloy wheels, nitro filled. And we got the little nitro, chrome nitro caps that uh, upgraded that I do on on the trailer videos uh, but anyway again it's dirty just needs to be wiped off and all this can be cleaned with a little soft scrub with bleach and okay speed up this video walk around here oh well I'm right here power rear stabilizer jacks and spare tire on the rear and you are prepped up for a rear camera there up at the top so if you wanted a rear camera installed you can do that nice crowned roof for better water runoff it's going to be your dual AC units for a 35 footer you're definitely ready 
to go down to Texas or hotter climate. And this is going to be your 15 amp service cord, marine style. You have a light here, it shows that you've got shore power coming in. But uh, you can unplug this, roll it up, stow it away. Nice clean look when you're traveling down the road. Last, last shot at those wheels. All the tires are in excellent condition. Again, the owners have only used this about five times. Outside shower, hot and cold running water. I forgot to open this up, but it's a pull-out sprayer with a hot and cold running water. This is going to be your black tank sewer flush. Washes out your toilet so you don't have to drag a hose inside. Fresh water connection, hooking up to campsites. Hook up your fresh water uh, here and city water. Okay, so you hook up here and, and you get the idea. Let's back up here. Again, I did check for delamination, any kind of issues that may be a concern with the potential buyer. Uh, other than the fact it's dirty, yeah, this really, this should shine up pretty good. Uh, spend a nice Sunday afternoon cleaning it up, and I am very particular when I do my walk-arounds. I do point out anything. Uh, I did not find any scratches or dents, so anyway, it's a nice camper. Let's get another shot from... 15 feet away. There you go. Give you an idea. If you want to come and see the ad, uh, camper, just call the number on the ad. You deal directly with the owner. If you uh, like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube.